My name is Daniel Pataki, and I'll be your instructor for the Getting Started with WordPress Development course. I started working with WordPress around eight years ago, and it basically started from me wanting to make my blog background red. Uh, I spent eight hours figuring out how to do it, and I actually really enjoyed the process, um, and I enjoyed being able to make something on the web. So it escalated from there, and um, I basically I started making themes and plugins, uh, I released themes on marketplaces, and I did a lot of consultancy and development work for companies. Today, I'm also a WordPress writer. I contribute a lot to the WPMU dev blog, so you may know me from there as well. In this series, I want to show you how to get started on the journey of WordPress development and to show you that it's not really that difficult. Um, the series consists of five videos. In the first tutorial, we'll take a look at the basic building blocks of the web and WordPress itself. This would be HTML, PHP, CSS, JavaScript, all the languages that you'll need to know somewhat to get started. They're not difficult, don't worry, you'll learn what they are and what you can do with them. In the second tutorial, we'll zoom in on PHP and make sure that we have a good working knowledge of this language because it's going to be the basics of uh, everything we do. Um, it's a server-side language and this is what enables you to create dynamic websites like for example with Facebook, Twitter and all those good sites. In the third tutorial, we'll take a look at the basics of creating WordPress themes. You'll learn what themes are, what files are required, and you'll learn how to build a basic frame in which you can work to create a good theme. In the following tutorial, we'll take a look at some additional elements of themes, widgets and menus. You'll learn what these are, how you can code them, and how they can work to create a great theme. In the final tutorial, we'll get started with plugin development. Plugin development is actually um, quite easy. It's very free form, and whenever you have an idea, you can basically put it on paper, so to speak, and get started really quickly. You'll learn what files you need, what code you need, and how you can build a working functional plugin. I hope you enjoyed the series. If you have any questions, please do let us know.